Hey guys, it's Dan with uh, Redline RC. See, we uh, we picked up this E Revo Brushless Edition, so we're gonna add just a couple of things to it. Uh, one of the first things we're looking at is the new RPM bumpers for it. They come in black and then the classic blue. Uh, the bumpers are quite a bit wider than the original bumpers that come from Traxxas. If you take a look, the factory one's probably about two, three inches wide, where the other one covers quite a bit more of the front end, especially your whole body and the leading edge of your suspension here. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these on there and see what they uh, what they look like here. Pretty simple installation, just a couple of two and a half uh, low meter screws here. Real easy to put on. Like I say, you can see the, uh, the size comparison between the two here. Pretty narrow for the for the front bumper here in comparison to the new RPM bumper. They're only about seven or eight bucks through your local hobby shop. So like I say, cheap, uh, cheap upgrade and, and quite, a bit, uh, quite a bit more protection as far as the, uh, the body and the front suspension goes. So these are in the plastic, so you gotta make sure you don't over tighten these front screws, but it's pretty easy to put on here. So throw the front one on here. And around to the back. Just two screws here in the back too as well. And a common question is, do these work with the wheelie bar? Yes, they do work with the Traxxas wheelie bar. So, go ahead and throw it on there. And uh, still continue to use your wheelie bar. And again, here's the difference between the two. So, quite a bit more, quite a bit more protection, especially in the back. Um, take care of those uh, control arms and that kind of stuff, especially if you're playing around at the track and get hit in the back from another car or something like that. So, and throw these on there. Just check them by hand, make sure they're good and tight here. Or tighten them, end up stripping the plastic here, so feels good. A couple of turns on there, so again, like I say, they're a pretty cheap investment. I think I paid eight or nine bucks at the at the hobby store, obviously here. So um, here's the old bumpers, comparison to the new ones. So thanks for watching. If you got any questions, comment down below. I did want to show you guys here too is the. Uh, the factory tracks this wheelie bar so it still does fit underneath here plenty of room with the rpm bumper so good to go any questions uh comment down below thanks